Yeah, yeah it the live ended and then it started this all over. Mm -hmm. So my guest Nas reached out because she has one question. She needs her girlfriend Ari to answer, do you want to be with men or do you want to be with me? Nas and Ari have been dating on and off for the past five years. And Nas claims they can never stay together because Ari is always cheating on her with men. Nas wanted us to unlock Ari's phone to discover the truth.
Everyone, please welcome Nas to the show. From your perspective, why do you want to unlock Ari's phone? It's not why, it's, it's cause. It's always on do not disturb, you know what I'm saying? I've been on yeah. for like five years. So within the five years, you know what I'm saying? We haven't, the phone haven't been on do not disturb. And if y'all know why the phone do not go on do not disturb, it's because you're hiding something, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's not like you at work, if you at work, your phone could go on Do Not Disturb. But when you with me, why is your phone on Do Not Disturb? Makes sense. Maybe to play devil advocate, is there a way that maybe she just wants to show you that she wants to be with you, that she wants to share time with you? No, absolutely not. No. It's not about that. <laughs> right. Absolutely not. I'm just not. playing devil's advocate, trying to get both sides. <laughs> you know, so you feel like if there's something suspicious. It's something suspicious or you're hiding something. Got it. Has she cheated on you before in the past? Absolutely. Multiple um, times. Okay. So when did you first start noticing her cheating on you? It's not when I first, it's actually, I caught it, and actually she told me. But let me put y'all on. She's not gay. She's not with the LGB community. She's a straight woman. And she grew up in a Christian home. Does like, she identify Christian. as a straight woman? Yes, she, yes, she so does. So she says, even though she's been in a five-year relationship with you, yes. she still says, I am straight. Yes, because I'm the only female she's been with. OK, but why not identify as bi? Why not identify as? I say that, but then I also say, because, you know, the LGBT community, you can't say that you're bi if you, if you, I'm the only female. She don't go, when she cheats, she don't go to a female. She goes to a man. So I, I say, don't call yourself bi. You're straight. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because when you cheat, you don't go to a female. If I would cheat, I'm going to a female. I like females. I don't mm -hmm. like men. I will go to a female. She goes straight to men, not a female. So you're telling her to call herself straight. That's what you just <laughs> said. You just said, I'm telling her to call herself straight. Yes. Okay. Yes. So when did you start noticing red flags in your relationship? We've been together for five years. She asked me out two days after I met her. Mm -hmm. Two days after that, she comes to my face and tells me, I'm about to go with my ex and walk straight out the house. Mm. What do you think happened between her and a TikTok follower? What I think is, mm -hmm. I know what happened. Okay, what happened? <laughs> so, me. I'm gonna tell you this story. Um, so, how I found out was, we had a hotel party with a group of friends, you know? We get drunk. <laughs> And you know, we get drunk, everybody fall out. You know, I don't, I don't really care. It's my time to lurk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's my time to lurk. She been acting funny and drunk. She was acting too sweet that night. And the thing is, we played a game, truth or dare game. One of the questions was, um, Ari, unlock your phone and let's see this, um, your text messages. She ain't unlock it. She took three shots to the face and she ain't want to unlock it. So yeah, she went to sleep. I unlocked that phone, but first before I unlocked it, um, on my phone, her phone was like it was on do not search. So I went to my phone. And I went through Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, and I just went through all her followers and stuff. So then I go to her phone. I take Do Not Disturb Off. And y'all know, once y'all take Do Not Disturb Off, all the messages pop up. I see somebody named Poppy Chulo. Not Poppy Chulo. My name not Poppy okay. Chulo. Not Poppy Chulo. My name is not Poppy Chulo. Okay, yeah. My name is Nas. Mm -hmm. My name not Poppy Chulo, so I was confused, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, Hey, Suri, the phone locked, but you can ask Suri to FaceTime. The same person that popped up from her TikTok followers is the same man that is on this phone right now as we speak. And he's just telling it all. Like, he's telling it all. I'm like, yo, if this your girl, you got to come get her. Huh? You got to come get her, bro. Like, you really got to come get her. So then... You reacted that calmly when you was on the phone with Poppy Chulo? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So then I wake... So then she wakes up an hour later, and I already took a picture of him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I asked her, and I showed him, like, yo, you know him? No. You did anything with him? No. Why are you going through my phone? How you know he in your phone? No, if you don't know him, you know what yeah. I'm saying? We had a big argument about that, and that, that was, like, broke us off. That broke us off until a couple months later, I just asked her out. So why do you say that Ari doesn't claim you? She doesn't claim me because... Let me show you. <laughs> I'm about to show you. Not single. S I N G L E. Is this on her social media right now? Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. So sir. currently she's. And says mind you, single. I'm blocked off of there. She's blocked you from social media. Yes, sir. I'm blocked. Yes, when sir. did you all get back together? Um, 17 days ago. 17 days ago. Yeah. And it still says single. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, listen, everyone. I want to hear what Ari thinks about all of this situation. So everyone, welcome Ari to the show. Have you cheated on us? Yes. Okay. It was one time we first started dating, and I wasn't gay. And by the way. I'm bi. You can't tell me what I am or not. So you dated multiple right here. females. It don't you matter like if females. I date a man or a female or not. I am but bi. You, but that's not, you can't no, be bisexual, yeah, no, bro. I, you I don't am, like females. How you gonna tell me what I can't be? Females, bro. That's the I'm problem right here. That's why you're not gonna sit up here. You're gonna lie, bro. Because you always trying to talk over me and tell me what I can't be. But you don't like females. How you gonna tell me what I don't like? I'm bi, girl. I 
Yeah, so I got a question for you. So why are we only unlocking her phone? Whew. Nobody asked for my phone. Oh. Uh. Why, why are you, why don't you want to see what's in her phone? I do. She, she never lets me touch her phone. Mm. Okay. Is there anything that you'd want to see in her phone? I mean, it's not. So I'm, I know what to look forward to. She's portraying how she is to you guys. <laughs> I know how she is in her life. So, so you already know really. she's cheating on you. Yeah, I've been to that. So you don't need to see because you know she's cheating. Oh, yeah, I already know. Okay. Yeah. Then. She doesn't, inf so if I'm no, cheating on you, why are we together right now then? Well, listen. Now's Why wanted me to, to unlock your phone it. today, Ari, but specifically on, uh, only wanted me to look for March 6th okay. um, when you two got back together. Okay. So it's ironic that you didn't ask for like a whole lot of time. You really just wanted March 6th right. from then there on. Are you ready to see what we found? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yes, sir. What do you think we found? I don't know. You're scaring me now. Am so, I scaring yeah. you? <laughs> Is there anything that you think that we found in your phone? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That, that, from, from when I first asked you out, that's what you're saying? Yeah. But you just said you was never texting nobody, correct? I never said that. When did I sit up here and say that? Well, you said you, you've been telling me that for the past well, couple days out. you haven't been it's texting time. nobody. Let's up, bro. Please go up. It's time to turn off your playing. phone. Now you really playing. You have 12 text now accounts totaling 2,559 messages. And you paid Yo, someone in jail on, on March 16th. I'm not about to play. I'm not about to play with this. Who's it? March 16th? On me, I'm not. Who, who is this? On me. It's her ex that I've been talking about. Now, I'm not, go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Go ahead. Keep going. JPay. So you did make another JPay. Oh, yeah, you got you, that. You, you did make that. another JPay, right? So you've been texting them. Actually, texting the same them? one, boo. You've been texting them. No, I haven't texted anybody. You've been texting them this month. It's the same one. You've been texting them this month. You've been texting them this month. I haven't talked to him. Even, but it's on. It's right there. It's on JPay, yeah, bro. Yeah, I see it. So, so this is a problem for you. Why? Because this is the same person when we first went out. Is the same person. She came to my face and said, "Yeah, I'm leaving you." She is in love with him. That's why I tell her, "You're not gay. You don't love me." If you keep loving your ex, bro, it should be no reason. I don't text none of my exes or tell them I love them, bro. It should be no reason why you keep texting this man and he don't give he don't give a so, about you. So you paid him on, you gave him some money on March 16th. This is your ex. Can you explain? No, I just um paid to write a message back. Okay. And wh why did you write a message back? To say she love him and she miss him um, and he can't get out. What did you what did you what did you write? I just basically was like, how you doing? Keep your head up. I miss uh -huh. you. I hope you're doing good. So Can't just for anyone who you. doesn't understand what JPay is, JPay is an app that, for those of us on the outside, we can use to communicate with them, send them monies, put monies on the books. Mm -hmm. So this is someone that you've been communicating with in jail, mm -hmm. so that way you can have some type of interaction with them. So when, when they get out, they can be together, run into each other's arms and stuff. That type of Do you want to be with this person that no. you were communicating with? I literally with? just... She do. I literally just... She did it to like see if he was good. Like you good, you straight. He not checking you on you. And when he was out, he was never checking um, on you, first bro. Of all, what are you talking about? First of all, he was never checking on you when he was out of jail. Okay, nice. He wasn't checking on you when he in jail. Let's okay. keep it a stack. Okay. okay. Well, let's get back to the unlocking your phone. So when it came to text messages, we went through the phone to see if there was any suspicious text messages between you and anyone else, specifically um, any any men, any women. And when it came to text messages, we found. 63 text messages between you and another man starting on March 8th until yesterday. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Right, I, I'm, some, done. I'm here, done. I'm done. I'm you, done. I'm done. I can walk out that way. You got to hear the highlights. Here, here's the highlights. Oh, no, I don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear the highlights? I'm good. Go ahead. You tell the audience. You have a wonderful day. Well, you I want to bring this back. See you later. I, I need you to see this. Here, here you go, because you need to see this. If you okay. really want to have all the information. Okay. That's yesterday, right? Yes. Okay. I'm going to sit back down real quick. I'm going to sit back down real quick. So this is what, if you can read it. Yeah, I can read that. This is Yo, I'm telling doing. you, I'm not going to do this. I really can't. This drunk say, I want to see you this weekend. I'll be back Friday for a couple days, OK? So see me. I'm going to be rich, though. What show you going to let me find out, babe? Well, since you're watching the show, bro, God, I'm right here. I'm right here. This is who she been with for the past couple of months. I want to know who is this? You said I'm like, who is oh that? Who is that? Who's been in my bed the past couple of months? Been in my bed. That's why she's I'm right here. I'm like that. I don't live with you. I don't live with you. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Keep it a stack. I do not live with you. Don't lie. Keep it a stack. All jokes aside, this is a text message is saying that as of you, you're telling them that you're coming here with your partner and then you're gonna go back. But we in a relationship and you got. When you get back. First of all, damn. First of all. Damn, he was about to kiss me too. Damn, can well, I talk? Is, can you go back we, there? We have one last thing. We have a graphic because you rented a hotel. Mm -hmm. 
And this is for the 23rd. Oh, that's for my sister. So hold on, this is for your sister? Yeah, she, she um, her birthday. Because my Unlock the Phone investigators tell me that you sent the screenshot of this hotel to the man we were just texting about. Yeah, but that hotel room is for my sister. So, but you got him and you a hotel though, right? Actually, no, I did not, honey. Oh, hold Lord. On. Can I ask, the a, question? Oh, Can I ask Lord. you a question in all sincerity? Mm -hmm. And do you want to take a seat here? Because we already know this is done. We know this is done. We don't have mm -hmm. to pretend. I'm not going to ask mm -hmm. y'all if y'all want to be together. Mm -hmm. Y'all both know this is toxic. Yes, and I thank y'all for helping us out. And now I don't got to move to Houston with this We can applaud, but I'm actually not convinced that you won't continue in this relationship. Oh, no, I'm actually pretty good. I'm actually done. This is what I already said. She kept telling me that she wasn't doing anything. Literally, out her mouth, kept saying she wasn't doing anything. And but I guarantee you, you this you is Poppy known, Chulo. I'm good. But you have known, but you no. have known that she has cheated. Yeah. It's just like she has known you have cheated. Yeah. So why would I be convinced that this is the time that's going to break the relationship? Because I actually really did have faith in her that she wasn't, that whatever she was doing, that she wasn't doing. But then again, I also had curiosities because the phone was still on, going but on D&D. you just got back together a couple weeks ago. I understand that. I understand you're thinking a restart. You're crying. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, I'm out. I can't do this. It's kind of hard when you don't have nobody to talk to, especially your mom, because that's the person you grew up with. You know what I'm saying? That's the person I know everything about you. Yeah. I don't have nobody. I don't have no family, and I don't have my so mom. I only you. have her. I appreciate you being vulnerable for me right now. Mm -hmm. Because for me, it connects dots of why you believe this relationship is something that you continue to be in. You are a woman that didn't get the validation or love from your mother. You got rejected, you were talked to negatively. You're mimicking the relationship you have with your mother in this, and you found comfort in someone you could be vulnerable with, but then you then allow the relationship to grow into this toxic behavior. Yeah. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. You healing and thinking about, first of all, is your mom's words true? Because you've been grappling with that for your entire life. Am I hitting it on the nail? Talk to me then. It's not the things she says, it's like the things that when she gets angry she say. So when she That's says That's the thing she says. Like says a Hold lot. on, you hear what I just said? I said you've been grappling with the things your mom says is true, and then you said no. And they said it's only when she gets angry. Yeah. You're a child that's been defending your parent your entire life. When I asked you what's going on with your mom, you started defending her immediately. Because I love her, you know, and I don't want to, like, it. treat I get her wrong. But see, that same things of, like, I love my mom even though the relationship is toxic is the same way you just said, I love this woman even though things are toxic. Do you see the pattern? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what I'm trying to help you to understand is that you have to reconcile with yourself if her words are true, and let me tell you, the things that your mother has said to you when she's angry, those words are not true. Those things she said about you are not true. Because those things that you're believing are true is what's making you believe that you deserve to be in a relationship like this. Mm -hmm. Can you just say to me right now, the things my mother said to me aren't true? The things my mother said to me are not true. The things my mama said about me are not true. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. We're here for you. I'm so sorry. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> the things my mother said are not true. They're not true. This is a first step for you. Mm -hmm. The more that you can practice saying that is the more that you can get to a place where you'll make a better decision in this relationship. Right. I'm taking this moment for you because I do love you. I love you too. <laughs> Seriously. And I don't want to see either of y'all hurting. Right. If y'all need my support, I'll be here for y'all. Can you do that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hold up, hold up. Where are you going? I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more so we can keep talking and growing, friends.